Hello. I'm Dr. George Backers, Professor of Medicine and Director of the Hypertensive Diseases Unit at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Today I'd like to talk to you about the JNC7 guidelines. You can see my disclosures uh, on slide two and the learning objectives for this module are delineated on slide three. You can read those on your own. So risk factors for cardiovascular disease clearly uh, are important to understand in terms of how to reduce them so that we can reduce risk. This slide basically shows you the major cardiovascular risk factors, blood pressure being at the top, and of course components of metabolic syndrome such as uh, obesity, dyslipidemia, in addition to blood pressure are all on this list. Kidney disease is on this list, and I think it's unappreciated by many, but needs to be respected as a risk factor, as is, of course, increasing age, the ultimate trump card that not anyone can really modify. What is the prevalence of hypertension? Well, the prevalence of hypertension increases with age. In fact, more than 50% of people between the ages of 60 and 69 will develop hypertension. About 75% of those uh, age 70 or older will develop hypertension and this is primarily systolic hypertension. In fact the lifetime risk of developing hypertension is about 90 percent for people that don't have hypertension, men and women, age 55, who survive to age 80 or 85. So it is almost inevitable. In fact the lifetime probability of being treated for hypertension is about 60 percent. It is a process of aging. Four-year rates for hypertension progression in those 65 years and older, uh, you can see, is about 50% for those that are in the uh, what used to be called high normal uh, or now high prehypertensive range of 130 to 139, and 26% of blood pressures between 120 and 129 systolic and 80 to 84 diastolic. I think it's important, this is data from Framingham, that shows you very nicely what the effect of high blood pressure is on CVD prevalence and you can see that even if you have so-called optimal uh, blood pressure control it's pretty clear that your risk increases with uh, time and of course the higher your pressure is within the prehypertensive range the higher your risk. Now what about age and blood pressure? We've been talking about this the trend and the pattern of blood pressure changes with age. Up until age 50, diastolic blood pressure is really the most important factor that you need to focus on. Not that systolic is less important, but diastolic blood pressure is really what's driving cardiovascular events. After that, it's all about systolic blood pressure, and in fact, diastolic blood pressure starts to decrease with age after 50. So, in most people in this aging society, it's all about systolic blood pressure. And so I think as a general rule of thumb, if you use 50 as the cutoff, people above 50, you should really focus on getting the systolic blood pressure controlled. People under 50 or at 50, the diastolic blood pressure is probably where you want to be in terms of focus. Now.